Welcome to Herald of Glory Devotional. Today is Saturday, July 30th, 2022. And the Lord's Word tells us that victory is by the Spirit. The scripture says in 1 John 5, 4, that for whatsoever is born of God overcometh the world. And this is the victory that overcometh the world, even our faith. Pastor explains that Christianity is simple and beautiful. It is not a religion with abstract and imposing principles and beliefs. It is a glorious and practical walk in the Spirit by the Word of God. As Christians, we have been called to a supernatural walk with God for an unending life of absolute victory, mastery, and dominion. However, if your experience of life is at variance with this reality, chances are that you've been operating at a capacity that falls short of who you have been made in Christ. You need to step up and lay hold of God's blessings to enjoy them. God wants you to think and function at His level. He doesn't want your outlook on life to be from the natural standpoint. He wants you to live by the Spirit because that is where the victory is born. When you learn to see with the eyes of the Spirit, the world will suddenly become small to you. 1 Corinthians chapter 2 verse 9 to 10 says, But as it is written, I had not seen, nor ear heard, neither have entered into the heart of man the things which God had prepared for them that love him. But God had revealed them unto us by his Spirit. For the Spirit searcheth all things, yea, the deep things of God. The realm of the spirit is where the real action is. What you must do is to spend time in fellowship with the Holy Spirit. What you must do is to spend more time in fellowship with the Holy Spirit to be opened to deeper insights and realities. When you are faced with any challenge, your default orientation must be to rely on the Holy Spirit for the solution. So, imagine yourself being filled with the Spirit every moment of your living. What an advantage that would be to be always prepared for life. And truly, you can live always full of the Spirit. Ephesians 5.18 says, And be not drunk with wine wherein it says, but be filled with the Spirit. Never start your day without being filled with the Holy Spirit. He makes life smooth and enjoyable. Kindly make this prayer with me. Say thank you, Father, for the joy of being filled with the Holy Spirit. The eyes of my understanding are enlightened. Therefore, I see the invisible and I'm empowered to do the impossible. In Jesus' name, Amen. As your reflection, don't take any decision or step today without talking to the Holy Spirit. Practically apply this truth and enjoy a stress-free living. Meditate on Romans 8, 1-2 and 2 Corinthians 2, verse 14. With Herald of Glory Devotional, every day is a perfect day. Pastor Julius Glayfield, Christ Lord, heralding the Glorious Church.